Storm Track 7 forecast on KWWL. Good morning, I'm meteorologist Brandon Libby. We have a really interesting forecast today as rain and snow returns to the area. Our threat tracker in the yellow for today as we could pick up some minor accumulations. Travel doesn't look to be impacted though for today. And anything that does stick to the grassy surfaces will probably melt tomorrow as we'll see mostly cloudy skies, but our highs back to the upper 40s. And it's going to be a pretty soggy week as rain does look likely for Tuesday. And we'll have rain chances Wednesday, Thursday, and also for Friday. So a lot of rain here in the forecast. Future track in the show, maybe a small window for clearing and some sunshine early this morning, mainly for the northern portion of the viewing area. The clouds, though, will quickly take back over as our temperatures push to the low 40s and upper 30s by about 3 p.m. That's also when we'll start to see this rain and snow mix pushing in. It's going to hold temperatures south of Highway 20, probably to the upper 30s for today. But since we're going to be so warm, I think we start off with some rain showers. But quickly into the afternoon and evening, mid-afternoon to the evening hours, our temperatures drop to the mid-30s. And that's going to transition that rain to a rain-snow mix. And then eventually just straight-up snow showers around 7 p.m as we have some very cold air aloft. So it looks like along and south of Highway 20 by 7 p.m. should be seeing mainly snow here. This will continue through the evening hours, 10 p.m. still seeing that snow in the same area and then pushing out right around midnight from west to east, maybe lingering in the Dubuque Monticello area by midnight, but not much longer after that as our low temperatures drop to the low 30s and about freezing for the overnight hours. Now again, I think the road temperature is still too warm, so we're not going to see much accumulation on the roads. Travel should be fine for today, but more so the elevated surfaces and grassy areas. Looks like we could see maybe a trace along Highway 20, and then the further south you go, maybe up to an inch of that very wet snow. So maybe something fun to play around in and make a snowman if that snow can stick to the ground. It's a big question mark right now. Otherwise, it's going to be a really, really soggy week. We dry out for Monday. Temperatures warm up. We'll see any of that snow melting. And then likely chances for rain on Tuesday and more chances for rain on Wednesday and maybe even an unsettled pattern here Thursday and Friday with some slight chances for rain. Uh, still kind of working things out for the end of the week. But regardless, we could see over an inch of precipitation throughout the next seven days. Not something we need right now because the rivers are running really, really high. We still have some flood warnings in effect for Blackhawk County, parts of the Cedar River, uh, parts of the Iowa River expected to get into the minor flood stage here uh, by today or into the early part of the work week. And all of that rain will probably keep the rivers high, so we may see some more uh, flood warnings added here to this map as we make our way through the work week and into next weekend. Something to keep an eye on. Otherwise, for today, looking at our high temperatures, low 40s north, upper 30s south, as we see that rain and snow pushing in. Again, by the evening, I think it turns over completely to some snow with minor accumulations up to one inch overall. For tonight, we'll see our low temperatures kind of stabling off in the low 30s as we'll see that snow coming to an end. And then areas of fog do look to develop for tonight as well. City by city forecast, upper 40s tomorrow with mostly cloudy skies. And Tuesday, that rain pushes back in as our temperatures remain in the mid to upper 40s. Storm track seven day forecast, really rainy here especially for Tuesday and Wednesday. Slight chances for rain Thursday and Friday as temperatures bouncing back and forth from the 40s to the 50s, and our lows will remain in the mid-30s. Looks like we'll start to dry out, though, by Saturday with a high temperature of 50 degrees.